Hey you! Today I've decided to bring you guys a very specialized tutorial on the magical magic wand of Ping Tuo Sai. Um, many people out there don't know how to fully utilize its functions, and let me tell you, <laughs> you're definitely missing out, because um, the magic wand is an exceptionally good shortcut for applying base colors. So, if you use it right, it can save you a lot of time. Now, before we start the video, I'm going to quickly talk about an app called Amino, who is sponsoring this video today. For those of you who haven't heard of it yet, you can download the app for iOS or Android, it's free. Um, there are tons of cool communities that you could join on there. So for example, anime or something like that, whatever your interest is, they probably already have a group for it. And if they don't, you can even make your own community. Um, they also have polls, discussions, and public chats. Everyone on there is just so friendly. So don't be afraid to start conversations. Um, you can also follow other people and make like-minded friends. It's just such an active community. So yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. And so if you're interested, links will be in the description. Okay, now, so what were we talking about? Um, right, <laughs> magic wands. Okay, so. I think the easiest way will be showing you guys how it works in action. So here I have a finished line art that I'm going to use as an example. This was a commission for someone on Instagram, but anyways, um, I'm going to explain these bottom three first. And um, quite honestly, I don't even know <laughs> what this anti-aliasing thing down here does. Um, it's never really made a difference for me. But I mean, if you're the wiser, feel free to comment and explain this mystery to everyone else, including me. I love to know. But yeah. Um, okay. So target is basically where you're selecting from. So working layer is, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. It's whichever layer you currently have selected. Um, I'm going to skip over this middle one for now and all images down here on the bottom is basically letting you select from everything that's visible right now, including all of the layers. So say I only want to color her, but not the snorkel. Um, what I could do is I could just select the layer that says line using the work layer setting and invert the selection by pressing this button up here and ta-da. But um, yeah, if I want to select all of her and the snorkel, I could use the all images setting and select all of it like so. And yeah, here you go. Um, yeah, that or you could just use the working layer again, but then select the folder instead to have all of her. But anyways, yeah, um, those two are pretty easy, but back to this middle one. Now, this is one that not most people know of or use, but I personally love it because um, once you know it, it saves you so much time. And okay, so basically you mark a layer or a folder as the selection source by pressing this circular button right here above the layers area. It's so easy. And um, with that selected, you just have to set the magic wand as selection source as well. And now you don't even have to be on this layer to select anything. Oh my god, it's actually so nice. Okay, okay, so <laughs> I'm getting excited. Let me show you an example. So, say I'm coloring hair, and I'm like, da 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 and like, oh, I missed the spot. So, now instead of opening my line folder, and then finding whichever layer of whatever it is that I'm trying to select is, um, I can just straight up select the spot while I'm still on the coloring layer without even changing layers and finding that layer. So yeah, I don't know about you, but I think it's pretty cool. I'm also kind of a lazy person, so yeah. <laughs> Now that I've explained these three down here, I will talk about the detection modes up here. Um, I personally like the transparency strict mode, the best out of all three, and I usually have it set on that. Um, but transparency fuzzy, I guess, is basically, well, a less strict mode. <laughs> um, it's less strict about the boundaries, so... Okay, so say I try to select her hair with the transparency strict one see how there's always little white spots around the corner that I missed but now if I try it with the fuzzy one there is significantly less um, although the fuzzy one might kind of seem like a better choice at this point uh, mind you that it does also leave the selection around the lines more jagged so if you remove the lines it look, and just look at the bare colors it looks absolutely horrible um, yeah, it's not as apparent here, but you know, just letting you know that that's a thing. So watch out for him and play around to find whichever one you like better. It's personal preference, really. 
Um, the color difference one, I rarely use because it's not very good at selecting every pixel. And you know, as artists, we're all perfectionists and every single pixel counts, okay? But <laughs> yeah, uh, the only time I literally ever use it is to like, I don't know, quickly get rid of a black background on a reference picture or something. But yeah. Um, Alright, okay. So now, the most important thing of all is this little bar down here. Now, remember what I said about the little spots, the transparency strip left behind? Well, as long as you adjust this one, right, it's actually not a problem at all. So basically how it works is that the higher the number, the mm, less sensitive, I guess, it is to little corners and things and the more pixels it's like. So if I put it to zero, notice how it's detecting even the thinness of lines and making these super annoying white bubbles. Now, but if I put it to 70, it becomes so sensitive that it crosses over and selects the face too. And yeah, like if I put it to 200, it basically just selects the whole picture. But yeah, um, the real trick with these is to always play with this bar and find out what's the absolute maximum that you can use. So you can select the most without, you know, selecting something that you don't want to select. And in this case, let's see, let's play around with this. Alright, I think in this case it is going to be a 63 since putting it on 65 selects the face. But yeah, it's all pretty simple. And that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I did make a new Instagram account for art, so if y'all are interested, you can find out either in the description or on my friend page. But anyways, um, I hope that helped. If it did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, if you're new to the channel, feel free to click here to watch some of my other tutorials or speed paints. And yeah, I'll see you guys later with more content coming up in the future.